Big story on Action News at noon is the ongoing recovery effort for six family members presumed dead following a police shooting and fire in East Lansdowne. We can now tell you that four bodies, including that of a child along with a gun, have all been recovered so far from this charred rubble here on Lewis Avenue. The alleged shooter has now been identified by his mother as 43-year-old Kun Le. One of the people presumed dead. Two officers were injured by gunfire when they responded to the shooting Wednesday afternoon. One of them has since been released from the hospital. Action News reporter Caroline Goggin is live for us at the scene in East Lansdowne with an update on the effort to uncover more remains. Caroline. Well, John and Sarah, four bodies have been recovered so far. Three were recovered yesterday. Those search efforts yesterday ended at about 4.30 in the afternoon. They resumed at 8.30 this morning. Again, four bodies recovered so far, but we have seen more remains be pulled from the rubble. And in about 30 minutes from now, we will get another update from the district attorney on what exactly their search efforts have recovered. The search resumed this morning for more remains at an East Lansdowne home where a gunman opened fire on Wednesday before setting the house on fire. Six people, all from the Lay family, are presumed dead. The alleged shooter has been identified by his mother as 43-year-old Kun Lee. Her doctor translated for us yesterday. I asked her, uh, do your son have any medical problem, any mental problem before? She said, she said no. Chin Lei says her son was arguing with his 13-year-old niece on Wednesday afternoon. When he went to get a gun, she and her husband fled the home. Shots were fired, and when police got to the scene, they were met by gunfire. Two officers, one from Lansdowne, the other from East Lansdowne, were shot. Shortly after, the home was set on fire. Chin Lei oh, says it. she believes Kun oh. is dead. She also fears her other son, his wife, and their three children didn't make it out alive. Very happy family, mm. and suddenly something happened like that one. As the home burned, the two injured officers were rushed to the hospital. Yesterday afternoon, one of them was released. 54-year-old Lansdowne police officer David Shazo was wheeled out of Penn Presbyterian to a hero's salute. He is going home to his family, the hero that he is. Back at the scene, investigators are searching through what's left of this home that has now been reduced to rubble. Last night, people stopped by Lewis Avenue to remember the victims. I brought a sign, some teddy bears, because I went to school with this kid and he died in the fire and it's pretty sad. We know the children, we believe, were involved in the home that day. They were inside when the gunfire and the fire broke out. They were students within the Penn, William Penn School District. The superintendent released another statement this morning saying he's just absolutely heartbroken by this news. He's offering counseling services to students and staff during this very difficult time. We know the second officer who was injured in the shooting on Wednesday afternoon. He is set to be released from the hospital later this afternoon. That's the latest live in East Lansdowne. I'm Caroline Goggin, Channel 6 Action News. Sarah Caroline, thank you. We will continue to bring you the latest developments on the investigation in East Lansdowne right here on Action News. We do expect to hear from the Delaware County District Attorney at any moment now, and we will bring some of that to you live. You can also find updates anytime online on the 6ABC app and 6ABC.com.